Happy November! Good morning and welcome to Serial Reviews, where we review a different type of cereal every Thursday. Why Thursday, you ask? I'm so glad you did. It's because Thursday um, seemed like a, a good day at the time um, when I when I came up came up with the idea initially. That was it's kind of like yeah, so why not why not Thursday? You know why not why not Thursday? So anyway, uh, as is a long-standing tradition here, as all of you avid serial review uh, fans know, uh, November. Uh, we, we, we take a special look at all of the, the knockoff brand cereals. It's uh, knockoff November, if you will. So let's go ahead and roll that intro one more time. Wonderful. I really appreciate all the time and effort that went into recreating a childhood classic. So anyway, today we're going to be reviewing... I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to be reviewing Coco Dino Bites. Um, it's uh, made by Malto Meal. Malto Meal has tons and tons of uh, knockoffs of of your classics, your your Lucky Charms, your Frosted Flakes. Uh, this one is specifically seems to be a knockoff of either Cocoa Pebbles or uh, Cocoa Krispies. It's a rice based cereal with a uh, chocolate coating. Someone's here. Are they here? Shut up. We, we timed things perfectly around here. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, as, as we always do, we have to start off with the most important part about any cereal, the box art. They get 1 out of 10. You put it in a bag. Don't play the game if you can't play by the rules. Moving on. We're going to go ahead and do a dry tasting for you all. Uh, because some of you are evil. You have evil in your hearts. And you don't put milk in your cereal. Because you want to make the world a worse place. Gotta reseal the bag. Cause it's in a bag. Who puts cereal in a bag? <laughs> wow, we really got to swores early today. Um, my bad. Don't swear. It's illegal. Cause this is a Christian website. Can we can we roll the roll the roll the clip? Christian website. Is that is that Joe Gold yet? We've done it. Two episodes in a row. Still going strong. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do our little uh, dry tasting. Got my spoon here. Nice big hefty spoon. Got a little bowl of this down the hatch. Okay. Not bad. It's not really a hard one to mesh up. It's just cocoa flavored rice, um, but um, initially I was kind of hit with that cocoa sensation, but as it goes on, that cocoa kind of disappears. It tastes almost just like frosted flakes. Um, they might need to work on their their flavoring a little bit, but other than that, it's perfectly fine texture wise. It's fine, um, real crispy, but since the the flakes are so small because it's just rice, um, it, it works, you know, it's uh, easy to consume. So, for the dry tasting, the uh, texture score, we're going to go ahead and give them a 6 out of 10, and taste-wise, we're going to give them a 4 out of 10. Moving on to the milk test, got my, my milk here, trusty milk. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into there. I'm gonna reposition my spoon so it doesn't just all splash all over the table. I'm a I'm a professional, guys. Don't try this at home. Got some milk in there. Look at that. And it's not too much milk. And if you say it's too much milk, I'll kill you. Just 
swishing it around a little bit. Um, normally with these chocolate cereals, what happens is you end up with chocolate milk at the end, and that's the best part of any chocolate cereal. Uh, but let's not delay this any further. Let's take a bite, huh? How about that? How about we move on with the program? You're not carrying this on too long, trying to pad the runtime so you can get to 10 minutes so YouTube likes you more. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? We're gonna take a bite right now, right now, guys. I'm doing it. It's going in the mouth. Here we go. Um, a little underwhelming with the, with the milk, the crispiness of the cereal kind of falls flat and kind of becomes mushy almost immediately. That could also have to do with just the, the size of the, the flakes. Um, so they're just more immediately soaked by the cereal, but, um, Hey, you get what you pay for. Taste wise, it's about the same. Uh, not too much of a, of a difference there. Um, the chocolate has begun to seep into that milk. Uh, so we're starting to get a bit of that cocoa taste um, in, in that, uh, that milk there as well. Sort of completing a nice round, round taste. So taste wise, we're gonna go ahead and bump this up to a five. Texture wise, we're gonna have to drop it down to a four, unfortunately. So overall, Cocoa Dino Bites is a nice, uh, slightly cheaper alternative to your, your Cocoa Pebbles or your uh, Cocoa Krispies. Um, Taste-wise, it's not too much different. I think if you, if you gave this to a kid and told them it was Cocoa Pebbles, they probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Still makes your milk chocolatey, so uh, you got to give them props for that. Um, that being said, the general idea of knocking off someone's creative integrity uh, doesn't really sit well with me. As well as uh, more so, I would say, putting cereal in a bag. Who the hell does that? Jesus, Malto Meal, get your oh. together. Twice in an episode! No, oh my gosh, we're gonna get cancelled. So the overall score for Coco Dino Bites is going to be a 4 out of 10. Eh, it's all right. That's about it. It's completely mushy now. It's been like five minutes. So sitting there at home, you may be asking yourself, hey, Hey Noah, why are you um why are you doing this? Why are you making serial review videos? Don't you like making like short films and stuff? What are you doing with this garbage content? I mean the answer is quite simple. About, I don't know, twenty years ago, YouTube sent me this letter saying, Hey, you don't have enough subscribers, you're not even relevant. Get out of here with your irrelevance. And that made me kind of sad. I was pretty bummed out. So I was like, what can I do to make YouTube love me again? Because all I want is some mutual love in this relationship. Is that too much to ask for? God! And I realized that what I need to gain YouTube's uh, heart back is a consistent upload schedule of uh, more regular content. So I made this weekly series that we do every week. Never missed a week. So if you want to help me win YouTube's heart back, what you can do is subscribe today. There's a subscribe button somewhere on this page. I don't know, it's around here somewhere. You'll find it. Just, just look around. It's red. It's got a bell next to it. You can hit the bell too, what the bell does is it'll notify you on your cell phone uh, when I've uploaded a video every Thursday. Every single, every one, all of them, every Thursday. You'll get a notification on your phone. Because I do these every Thursday. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Don't put your cereal in a bag, you freak. I didn't hit the floor. That was, was going to be dramatic. But, uh, just fell under the chair next to me. 
Well, I'm going to cry about how that video ended.